excellent. Welcome back, fishies. You know, like I said, I was going to wish everybody a happy birthday, but you know what? We just need a drink of fish water. That's what we need to get started. Okay, now, today I'm going to make um, brown sauce that goes in the Chinese food. Now, I've never made it before. This is my first time. I'm going to try it, and if I like it, guess what? I'm going to keep making it. And Chinese restaurant might not see me for a while if I get this right. Okay, now, first it says um, combine everything, but I have um, here, I have three-fourths cup of a beef broth. And then I have a tablespoon and a fourth of oyster sauce. And then I also added a teaspoon of um, dark soy sauce in here. That's all combined in here. Okay, and then, then in this one here... I have a half a teaspoon, a half a tablespoon, teaspoon, half a t teaspoon, excuse me, of sugar, and then I have a tablespoon of cornstarch. Okay, now, you can use cornstarch, you can use um, corn flour, or you can use potato starch, okay? I didn't look for the potato starch, but I'm going to try it next time, but yeah, it says combine it all together in the uh, pan and bring it to a boil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this in first. My um, beef broth here, let me get all of the good drippings out. This is uh, better than bouillon beef broth, okay? That's the one that I like. And let's just try to rinse this out a little bit, get, a, get all that out. Okay, now I'm gonna add in my, um, this is the hoisin sauce. No. This is the oyster sauce and the soy sauce. We're going to just mix that in. Like I said, this is my first time making it. Um, I had someone suggest maybe I might try to make it. You know, I like my Chinese. I'm just going to incorporate this. Then I'm going to incorporate the cornstarch and the sugar. And it says um, to mix this up really well to make sure there's no lumps. Okay, so we're just going to stir this up here. And I think that's all the ingredients that goes in here. I'm going to make sure I get all of this out. Okay, now I'm just going to bring it up to a boil. gonna let that sit for a minute. I'm just gonna move all of this stuff out of the way that I don't need anymore. Okay, that's it. Yep. Okay, now what I'm gonna make with this brown sauce is I have some pork chops in the oven that I fried, and then I also have some potatoes in there. And I'm going to put this Chinese brown sauce over the top and see how well I like it. See, this is thickening up. You can tell this is thickening up some. Probably should reduce the fire down a little bit. Yeah. Yep, it's, it's um, thickening up. There is no timer set on the potatoes in the oven. I have potatoes and onions in the oven and a pork chop. I just want to put this brown sauce over top. Smells like Chinese. Smells has a beef flavor. You guys smell that? It has like a beef flavor. Can you smell that? And I'm just going to let it thicken up here. I probably need to taste it to see if I need to add it. But like I was saying, this is my first time ever making this, so... We'll see how it comes out. I just want to taste it, see what it tastes like. Hmm, don't taste bad. Really doesn't taste that bad. I think it needs a little salt and pepper, to be honest. So. You know, Esslin got to put her little touches on it. Even though it's got soy sauce in it, I think it needs a little touch of my sea salt. 
And I think it also needs a little touch of this pepper in here. Fresh ground pepper. I think it needs a little bit on there. Okay, see, it's sticking up really nice. This is about the consistency almost that you need that. I think, man, I need to add a little, maybe a little more soy sauce. That's not bad. I'm telling you guys, that's not that bad. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna add any more soy sauce because I don't need the salt. I really don't need the salt, so I'm gonna get rid of this stuff over here. Put the salt and pepper, but I have me a little salad over here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of um, oil on it. I'm going to cross over here, and nope, the oil I'm looking for isn't there. Oh, it's over here. Part-timers. You know, the weather here has been raining almost all day today. Yes, it has, almost all day, but that's okay. Because you know what? Sometimes we need to stay in the house and get some stuff done. I was just brushing up on, a, looking at a couple of recipes catching up on a couple of videos. I know I'm taking a lot of time. Got a lot of dead space. Oh, I probably should have turned that off a little bit. But I'm just trying to get my salad together here just a little bit so you guys can take a look at it. Just, you know, fresh. It's almost like a, it's almost, it's just a plain salad. Just a plain salad that I always make. Tomatoes, onions, a little bit of um, cucumbers, so, uh, and some lettuce. Just like I said, just a basic salad. A um, little bit of grapeseed oil and um, some most, um, red wine vinegar. Like I said, I was just getting my salad together over there. That's it, just a little granary to go with the meal. Okay, and this is done. I can tell you right now, though, this is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here right quick, and I'm going to pour that into this little cup. It's not a cup. It's a little pitcher. <laughs> it's not a cup. I'm going to just pour this in here so we can serve it up on top of our pork chop and our potatoes that we're going to get out of the oven. And I didn't want to put this in one of the clear ones because I know that this one here is heat resistant. I don't know if the clear ones are heat resistant. Okay, can you guys see down in there? Yes, that's down in there. Like I said, um, I have some clear ones, but I don't know if they're heat resistant. This one is heat resistant. I don't know if the other ones are. So, like I said, you can see the brown sauce in there. And there is my salad. And now I'm going to get my plate and bring it over. Okay, now, in the oven, I have my potatoes with onions, and I have my pork chops that I fried. Oh, man, that smells and looks so good. Doesn't that look delicious? Can you see that pork chop that I fried up there? You see those nice potatoes? Can you guys see that? I know I have to bring it up higher. <laughs> I was used to it being down low, so I just got to remember to bring it up high. Okay, and I'm going to just sit this down over here on this side. Take some of the potatoes and put on the plate. Like I said, I've been trying to work on my plating. But this is all brown food. As Amber Rail said on the Food Network, brown food tastes good. Yes, it does. I'm just getting the potatoes and onions off of there. Then I'm going to get my pork chop and lay on here. Don't want to go that way or this way. Yeah, you see, you see what I'm saying? It's all brown, but that's okay. What I'm going to try to do is plate it a little better. Maybe I'll put this on top. I know it's brown, but hey, what can I say? 
We're going to move this out the way. And what I think I might do is take my fork and take some of my salad and just put it down here. Just to try to brighten this up just a tad bit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I know brown food tastes good, but hey, what can I say? I'm just going to put the salad down here to help, you know, brighten it up just a tad bit. Brighten it up. We got to brighten this plate up a bit. Work on our plating. Some of the red onions on top. Some more of the cucumbers over there. Okay, we need to move around the cucumbers and the lettuce. Okay, that's looking a lot better. Looking a lot better. Red tomatoes over there. Let's get a couple of them peeking through. Like I said, I've been trying to work on my plating. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? Get some more of this lettuce on here. Tomatoes. Onions. Okay. We're going to sit this over here all the way. Now, how does that look? We're not done yet. We're going to, I'm going to add the brown sauce to it that I made. Now, this is the Chinese brown sauce. This is the Chinese brown sauce that they put over uh, major a lot of their dishes. So, I'm just going to put some of this back here. Drizzle some on these potatoes. And then come up on the pork chop. Oh, that looks so good. Just kind of glaze pork chop with this nice brown sauce. Set the brown sauce aside. And over here, I have a fork and a knife. We're going to just let it sit there for a minute. Now, doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look delicious? See, we have the potatoes back there, potatoes and onions in the back, back there. Can you smell that? It smells good. Then we have that nice, bright salad in the front. Trying to work on the plating. The fingers out of the way. Can you see that? Now, we're going to take our knife and fork. We're going to taste this pork chop. That looks so good. I'm just going to take us a little piece out of here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it onto a piece of potato. I'm going to get a piece of potato and put on there. Okay, cut that through. Oh, wow. Look how juicy that looks. Don't that look good? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me a little piece of potato on there. Oh, the potato didn't stick. Doesn't that bite look good? Mmm. Mmm-hmm. That is really good. Now, that is really delicious, okay? The crunchiness from the salad and the brown sauce on this um, fried pork chop is so good. Then we have the potatoes back here. Then we have the onions. They might look a little burnt, but they're not. Mm -mm, they're not. They're just a little dark, but they taste really good. So this is the, I made the brown sauce to go over the um, pork chop. You guys have seen me make, you know, fried pork chop before, but... The brown sauce is the, it's not gravy. It's just the brown sauce that they use in the Chinese restaurant. So if you like what you see, thumbs up. If you want more, hit the dinner bell. Comments and suggestions are always welcome. Subscribing is free and sharing is nice. And if you'd like to, if you'd like any comments, no, I'd like everybody out there to stay safe and positive. That's my part timers kicking in. I was getting ahead of myself. So, everybody stay tuned to Let's Try This.